Welcome back to A Moment to Move and welcome back to the beginner strength building series. So um, again, if this is your first time on this particular class type, this is just here to help you build some strength, feel confident in your body, um, so then maybe you can challenge more, uh, take on more challenging classes if that's what you perceive to do, or you can just stay here if this is what you feel happy with. So um, we are going to start by strengthening the wrists, um, and we're just going to place the hands down in front of you. The further away you have the knees, the easier, the uh, harder it is, the closer, to get, the closer you have your knees to your hands, the easier it is. So find a spot for you that you feel is comfortable, pull the shoulder blades down your back, externally rotate the shoulder blades so the eyes of the elbows are facing forward, gently grip into the mat, and we're just going to come up onto that first knuckle, and we're just going to lower back down, just two, start using the breath into your movements, Inhale and exhale nice and slowly through the nose. Just keep lifting up. Unfortunately, I've already lost count, so I'll just go for three more. Now back down, come back onto your toes or however you choose to sit, give a little shake. And then come onto your knuckles. So you want to make a fist push the knuckles down into the ground, and we're just going to roll to the outside of the hands, open them up, close them back, roll back onto the knuckles. Try to keep the arms straight, depending on your level of uh, wrist flexibility, this may be easy, or this may be extremely challenging for you. Whichever way it is, just keep breathing and rolling out the knuckles. You want to for the last three, you can bend the elbows, touch your nose to the ground, and roll back. Just two, open up the hands, nose to the ground, push into the back of the hands, close the fish, roll up. Give them a little shake out, and we're just going to gently rock back and forth just to open up some flexibility. From there, I'm going to spin around and I'll meet you all in down the face of Doug. So in the previous classes, we have worked on the calves a little bit, so we will continue that here. So set up a solid downward facing dog by externally rotating the shoulders so the eyes of the elbows are probably facing towards each other. You are aiming to get them to face forward, gently gripping into the mat with your fingertips, hips up to the sky. Breathe into the downward facing dog. And we're going to raise that right leg up to the sky. You can point the toes, and you want to come up onto your toes of your left foot and just gently lower the heel to the ground. So you don't want to flip flop the right leg. You just want to keep that as neutral as possible. Extending through those toes, and we're just going to rise up and down on the board of the left foot. Three more. From there, we're going to gaze forward. We're going to bring that knee into the chest and we're going to roll forward, compacting ourselves, retracting the shoulder blades. And you can place that left knee down and do the same thing. Bring that knee to the nose and we're just going to extend it back. Three legged plank and then bring it into the chest. It's two. Three, we're engaging our core by doing this. Four, keep it going. Five, step away. Six, last one. Seven, have that hold again. If you need to take that knee, keep doing the same thing. You are working the core. As you can see, I'm straining with my breath. Lift that knee as high as you can. Step between your hands or as close to. And we're just going to gently bring that back leg in, straight on the right leg, and take a bend in the left leg. So you're in this, I don't really know how to call this position, but you've got a bend in your left knee, and you're straight in the right leg. You're going to reach your arms over your head, and you're going to rise up, keeping that right leg straight, bend in the left knee, lower down to halfway. So what you're doing here, by pulling the shoulder blades onto your back, Lower down halfway, or rise up. 
you're working into the hamstring on the right side. You're also working the back muscles here. It's four, five. Keep extending the hands away from you. Six. You want to have a nice uh, natural curve in the back of the lower spine. Eight. Place the left foot down to the ground. Take a nice bend, forward fold. And from here, we're going to pull the shoulder blades onto the back for a halfway lift. And we're going to place the hands onto the ground, stick that left leg up to the sky. So this is a um, warrior free prep. So we can hold it here. If you feel like you've got a bit of balance already, you can bring the hands off the ground and play and challenge your balance. If you feel that the hands need to be back down on the ground, it's perfectly fine. And we're just building strength in the right side of the leg, down the outer edge and through the IT band sort of area. You can straighten, you can have a little micro bend in your right knee, it's probably for the best. You can have a deeper bend in that knee. If you choose to really work the outer hip in the muscles, and again, you can take the hands off the ground, you can place them on your shin. And you can see, if you place them on the shin, you can feel your toes gripping into the mat with the muscles working in your shin bone. Extend through the spine. And we're just going to hang up here. Or here. Completely your choice. From there, I'm just going to place that left leg back to the ground. Heel toe, the right leg to the outer edge of the mat, and just opening up the hip here for a gentle lucid lunge. Again, you can come down onto the knee and open up, shifting from side to side. And just opening up that hip flexor, that hip in general. From there, we're gonna step back to high plank and we're going to work our way for a vinyasa, so you can place your knees to the ground if you choose to. Shift forward, lower down halfway. Keep that engagement. Pull the chest up and through for upward facing dog. Push into the tops of the feet. Squeeze the glutes. Push into the hands. Broaden in the collarbones. Pull your neck back and face directly forward. Then tuck your chin to the chest. Come up high onto the toes, roll it back like a wave into downward facing dog. From here, we are going to try and do the other side. Lift your left leg up to the sky, point the toes, and again, you're going to come up onto the to right toes and lower the heel to the ground. Keep pushing the ground away from this. One, two, three, nice and smooth. Four, five, six. Keep moving with the breath. Last one. Set up your posture. Shift forward. Bring that knee to the chest. Dome in the upper back for a tiger curl. Working on that core and the strength in the arms. Again, extend the left leg away from you, bring it into the chest, pushing the ground away. It's two, three, again, place that right knee down if you choose, extend away, pull back in, four. Three more. And the last one, extend the foot, Bring it through, flex the foot, step between the hands, and we're going to step up to what we call good mornings. So bring the right leg up onto the toes of the right leg, straighten the left leg, extend the arms up overhead, and rise up for one. Fold the body halfway, two, move with the breath. Three, squeeze the glutes at the top. Four, five, six.
six. Pull the shoulder blades onto each other. Seven. Eight. From there, place the right foot down to the ground. Take a forward fold. And again, we're going to challenge the balance and build some strength and heat in the left leg. So inhale, halfway lift. And we're going to extend the right leg back this time. And again, you can stay in a warrior three prep. If you feel like you want to challenge your balance, do so. It's probably always best, like I said last time around, to uh, keep a nice micro bend in the left knee. And just change, just hang out here and breathe. Enjoy. Maybe lower the right hip down so it's sort of running more level with the left hip. So you're not opening up, you're more at a level angle. And again, you can bring both hands up. You can take an even deeper bend in the left knee to really work the outside of your right, left leg. Extend through the spine. Breathe. And it's okay to fall out of these poses. You're probably just in your living room. You can just smile and laugh at yourself. And come back, everyone falls. It's perfectly normal. the hands down to the ground. Come down onto the left toes, right toes, sorry, heel toe the left foot out to the outside edge of the mat. Place the hands down to the ground and we're just going to work in to that left hip. Make circles again. The back knee can come down. It's perfectly fine. Flex their toes and just shift forward and back. Whatever your body feels it needs today. And we're going to step that left foot to meet the right, coming into that high plank. And we're going to shift forward, lower down halfway, nice and slow, and then pull the chest through, coming into an upward facing dog. Shoulders down the back, breathe. Tuck the chin to the chest, roll over the toes, all the way back, meaning in down dog. Drop the knees to the ground. And I'm going to come onto my back and I'm going to take a happy baby pose. So we have already opened up the hips a little bit with um, lizard lunge. But if you want to do happy baby with me, feel free. Stick your feet up to the sky as if you're walking on the roof. Grab the outside edges of your feet from inside. Now you want to pull the shoulder blades to the ground, pull your hips to the ground. So you've got a nice long spine. And push your feet into your hands, hands into your feet. So you're bringing your knees up into your armpits. And then you can rock from side to side for what I like to call super happy baby. Here, just gently roll back up. Come to a seated position. Take an exhale. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, movement and the, you see the, the poses are starting to get a little bit more challenging, less challenging. Whatever you feel they are, um, just let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to have some feedback. Um, and after all, we are, as I said, we're trying to build strength in your body so it becomes more resilient and then you you got to make you take a few more of the more challenging classes if you haven't been able to take them steps yet so just building up that confidence in you to be able to do it so uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoyed the challenge i hope you're enjoying the channel and um yeah hit a hit a hit the like button the subscribe button and uh give me any feedback you can and i'm more than happy to get back to you and try to help you the best i can as well so thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.